Yo, what up players? Uh, welcome to your next Android tutorial, the 2.9 tutorial. And what I quickly realized is once I switch this over in the manifest to, for our uh, settings activity to be our default or launcher, it would crash. And that's because, uh, as someone mentioned in the comments as well, uh, that's because we loaded the preferences before we actually set up what the checkbox and the edit text actually are. You know, So when we're loading preferences, and it tries to reference a checkbox, checkbox that we haven't, uh, you know, obviously uh, set up yet. It's gonna crash it. So all we have to do is move this load preferences down below within our onCreate method and save it. Uh, we should be good to go from there. Now, just to show you guys how this kind of works, is we're gonna open this up, and again, this is shared preferences. So this is unchecked right now. Um, obviously, if we go down to our onClick method for our button. It has to be clicked, as you can see here, if we want to save the actual name itself. So we're going to click that and then we're going to go, or actually just to show you how this works, we're going to unclick that, hit save, it's going to close our application, we open it back up and it still has your name, um, the same thing that we defined this edit text to have. But let's say we edit this and we say uh, delete the name and we're going to put your name or my name, Travis, in there. And, uh, you know, we're going to save it now. And obviously I really messed that up. Save that. And it's going to, again, close our application or activity. And we're going to open that up again. And it's going to be saved forever, pretty much, um, until you uninstall the app. So, again, we can uncheck this, and it won't actually save whatever we type in here. So we're going to add to the Travis, hit save, it's going to close it, but it's not going to save it because that checkbox wasn't checked. So when we open this back up, again, it goes back to the last thing that we saved, which was Travis. So yeah, you can access this information or like the name information, Travis, whatever, in any different activity in your whole application. Like you just, all you have to do is you have to, so all you have to do is within our load preferences, this is all you're going to have to do with any activity. Uh, you're going to refer to the shared preferences or set that up and then you're going to refer to like a boolean value or a string value because that's the only inf information that we have. Again, you can do this from any activity in your whole application and then you just say get and make sure you have the checkbox or whatever we set up and again our key pairs or checkbox and name and then it'll return the information for us so that's pretty awesome so you can do that from any activity like I said probably 10 times now and what we're gonna get into now is something a little bit different than uh, the shared preferences we're gonna um, we're gonna use the internal storage move this over here internal storage which is basically gonna use the devices memory uh, to store some information for us uh, we can make this so our application can access it we can make it so other applications can access this information but the user can't um, go in and find it and edit it it's gonna be kind of private but only the activity you know you get what I'm saying only the activity or the, the apps can access this information for the internal storage so um, let's jump into that we're gonna just uh, create a new activity here Man, it has been a rough day, guys. Like, I didn't go to work today because my car was blowing up. And I tried to get on Eclipse, start making some tutorials, do something a little bit productive. We're going to call this internal store. Do something a little bit productive, right? So then I go into my manifest because I was, you know, setting up the settings to be my main launcher. And I saved it. And, like, everything just blew up. It, like, went all red. There's red airs everywhere. I cleaned all my projects. You know, give you did the same advice I give you guys that asked me, hey, there's no R file because it said R wasn't resolved to a type. And what ended up happening is there's a debug or the the key store, uh, the debug key store that the SDK gives you that expires after a year, and that really messed me up. Like I had to go in and delete that, then clean my project. So if you guys are like can't figure out what the heck's going on and you're getting all these right up, I'm just mumbling right now. Sorry. It's been a insane day is what I'm saying. So definitely uh, appreciate you guys subscribing and hanging with me uh, when I can't make tutorials like as quick as everyone wants. But uh, luckily, car blew up and I could make some tutorials today. So that's awesome. Uh, but um, just changing some things around here. Uh, da, da, 
that. So again, we're just gonna have the internal store class be our launcher. We're gonna save that, and uh, let's get into it, right? Extends activity, you know, all the basic stuff. So I don't know why I'm complaining so much, but to be on, you know, the more pause. Oops, to be on a more positive note. Thank you guys for subscribing, leaving awesome comments, following us on Twitter and Facebook, and just being cool, chilling, you know, having a good time. That's what it's all about, um, and definitely appreciate that, you know, you guys don't leave douchebag comments like a lot of other YouTubers get all the time. So, uh, thanks for that. Appreciate it. So, we're going to create a class or a layout called um, Internal... Oops, internal and uh, you know we haven't created it yet so let's do that <clears throat> all right and this is gonna be a pretty simple oops, internal it's gonna be a pretty simple uh, XML file here Let's just do uh, two edit text. Um, let's see if there's one with a hint. Is there one with a hint? No? All right, whatever. Um, and, <clears throat> and we'll also have one button to save it. All right. So this is going to be this is going to be a be like a journal app or something maybe I don't know people write journals anymore who knows who knows I'm losing it guys alright so uh, journal or save save file something like that uh, can I do a hint Android hint yeah there we go all right, so uh, file name. We'll just copy and paste this. We'll do journal entry, entry, entry. Man, e's and i's they always get me. All right, so let's save that. Uh, look, looking pretty decent. All right, all right. So that's pretty much the setup. Um, and then before we end this tutorial, again, it's you know. There's always got to be one tutorial to get things set up before we get going. But, uh, you know, we're going to do two edit text. And we'll do file name for this guy. And we'll say journal uh, or entry for this second one. All right. And then just get those references set up. So save will be button. Oops. I should probably do this below. Alright, so button find view by id r dot id button one probably. And then we're gonna do file name. Copy that and entry paste. And we're gonna change that to two. And then lastly add our imports. So uh, we got it set up, ready to go for the next uh, tutorial, which I should be able to roll out since I have nothing to do today, pretty much. Um, so thanks again for watching, guys. Oh, also, and uh, you know, thanks again for following us on Twitter and stuff. Pretty cool, you know. I was saying my car blew up and stuff. That kind of sucks, but uh, pretty cool. We might, if you guys can, you know, help us out and follow this guy. We might, we might, uh, you know, might be in a movie or something. So if you guys want, you know, it'd be pretty cool if we could get in a movie. So, uh, you know, if you want, not trying to force you, but if you want, just uh, follow that guy. It'd be pretty awesome. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace. I cannot believe my car freaking blew up. What the heck?